Hello everyone! In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a flipbook on Canva. And the flipbook that I'm talking about is not going to be a type of flipbook where you will put a lot of pictures and the pictures will seem like it's moving. The flipbook that I'm talking about is going to be an ebook that will have a flipping effect. So instead of scrolling it up and down, you will be able to get a flipping effects as if you are reading an actual physical book and you can do that with canva i am going to be using canva pro account but you can totally just use a canva free account because the most important step on creating a flip book is going to be the ending step and i'm going to show you later on on the video and you don't need a pro account on canva in order to do that so first things first, we're going to take a look at some templates. So what you want to do is you're going to search for ebook on Canva. And you're going to want to search for multiple pages. You don't want to search for just the title page because we do want to get the flipping effect and you will not be able to achieve that with just one page. And here is some example of the ebook that Canva have. And you'll be able to know whether that specific template will have more than one pages or not by hovering your clickers on top of it. As you can see, there is a number showing on the top left of the design. And it says that there is a 22 page in this specific design. This one has five. This one has 11. So it's going to depend on the amount of content you will have in your ebook and you can also choose the different orientation if you want this one comes in portrait and you don't always have to follow the exact same measurement or the exact same style with the design you can always use the design just as an inspiration for your own ebook so let's say that i want to work with this one right here so this is indeed a pro design, but you can just choose anything that has no pro symbols in it. Like this one's right here. Or you can also create your own ebook from scratch by entering your own custom size and then start designing from there. But I'm just going to start with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click customize this template. So currently my ebooks looks like this. It has 10 pages. And let's say that I will want to change this picture i'm going to show you how to do it so first things first i'm just going to delete this real quick and then you can go to element to add a frame you can literally see there is a frame options right here and if you click on it there will be all sorts of frame that you can use for your design so let's say that i wanted to add some sort of polaroid effect like this one's right here i can go ahead and click this and I just want to use one of the frames. So I'm just going to enlarge it and then use this button to tilt the Polaroid. And then you can see that there is a blank spot right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and use this frame right here, tilt it and then adjust it so that it's going to match its background. All right, so it looks some things like this. So I think I'm going to go ahead and copy it into the other frame just so that it will not be just blank. Again, I'm just going to adjust this. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that looks nice. All right, now I'm going to start and inserting my image. Now, if you're not, now you can totally upload your own image by going to this upload sections right here click on upload file and then inserting your images from your own computer or you can just drag and drop your pictures from your folders now i'm just going to see what i have in my upload folders and use it as my design so most of the pictures that i got here i downloaded them from pexels or unsplash because those two are one of the platform that allows you to download copyright free pictures so those are 
some platforms that are very helpful if you needed some copyright free pictures for now I think I'm going to use this pictures right here and if you would want to add your pictures into a specific frame it will not work if you just click on the pictures it does going to bring it into your design but if you would want it to be placed specifically or directly into the frame that you just created you're going to want to click on your pictures hold it and then drag it into your desired frame and now you got your pictures and i think i'm going to do the same thing to this one's right here so again i'm going to bring this so i'm just going to bring this one's over there it's not too visible so i'm not going to think too much about it and you can see that this paragraph right here is blending into the background so you can either change the color if you want by clicking on the text box and then click this text colors options and choose your color from there you can also create your own colors if you want by dragging in this color box but i don't think i'm going to use this for now so i'm just going to go ahead and delete this wording and leave it just like this and then obviously you're going to want to change the whole content into your own content you can create some children's stories you can create some novels etc everything is depending on the kind of content you'll want to put on your ebook and i'm just going to live the other page as it is for the sake of this tutorial and I'm just going to show you one hack that I really like when using the Canva Pro. And the hack is that I can resize my design into other measurements. So for example, I changed my mind and I want to have this design in a square style. I can just go to the resize and magic switch and then I can choose the measurement that I want to put for my ebook so I can create custom size I can even choose from the available category and let's say I want to change this one into this measurement and I can choose whether I want to change the all of the pages or just one of them let's say that I want to change all of them so I'm just going to go ahead and click on continue and then I'm going to wait until it's finished resizing and once it's finished, I can choose whether I want to copy and resize the design or I'm just going to resize it because I'm not going to be using the original design. And that is a very helpful tool. Now, if you're done with your design, you can go ahead and click on share. And this is the important step that I told you earlier in the video. This is where you can add that flipbook effect into your design. So instead of downloading it directly, you're going to go to the more options and then you're going to want to type in flip and here you'll see multiple options for the flipping effect my personal favorite is going to be this simple booklet flip so i'm just going to go ahead and click on it and this is one of the apps that are integrated into canva that helps you to create that flipping effect now before you'll be able to use it you're going to want to log in into simple booklet account and if you don't have one you can always create one and for today i'm just going to sign in with my google account and once you're done you can start and exporting your design so here you can see that i am going to save my design with simple booklet flip so go ahead and click on save and then i'm going to go into simple booklet flip and here you can then add your flipping effect so you have page crawl and then you also have hardcover and these two are the flipping effect that we're going to choose from i think i'm going to use the hardcover one so the first one will seems like it is a hardcover but the other pages are just going to curl so i'm going to go ahead and use this one and then click on convert and now we got our book ready and this is how it looks like the first one is going to open like it is indeed a hardcover then the next pages are just going to curl like regular pages.
paper pages. And once you're done, you can always share your design. And that's basically it. That is how you can create a flip book with Canva. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.